Join me for a week of being a science communicator who wears too many work hats. Beginning with a literal hat for a day of being an educator at a wildlife sanctuary. The sanctuary is in a rural part of Victoria which is rich in biodiversity and it makes for the best place to teach in. <laughs> After a long day of chatting with the public, that's a wrap for day one. Day two is a full day lecturing at the university in a course I co-created over five years ago now. The first is my monthly science segment on ABC Radio, or a recreation of it at least. Today we covered variable stars and supernova, and five hours later, that's a wrap on day two. Day three is for working from home, yet the schedule is packed. Answering emails, grading student assignments, and my cat reminding me why I work in the first place. It's for their food. Lunch break outside, so I don't forget what sunlight feels like. A quick check of the chilies before it's back inside for the first workshop of the Superstars of STEM program. And then wrapping up my evening with my weekly language class. These two hours are dedicated to Camilla Ray, and that's a wrap on day three. Day four, I'm broadcasting at Triple R 102.7, the greatest station on earth. For four years, I've hosted the weekly show Indigenuity, and today I'm speaking to a fantastic guest, sharing some astronomy news, and celebrating that Indigenuity is now broadcasting nationally on the community radio network. Broadcasting came into my life pretty unexpectedly, but I adore being part of the Triple R community. Show done and that wraps up day four. For the final day of this work week, I'm back here at Monash. I have been teaching, I've met with my astrophysics supervisor about my research, and now I have some hours to dedicate to writing and I'm taking advantage of this really lovely weather that we've been given here because it has been a little bit intense. So in terms of writing, I'm a published author. I'm working on a couple of manuscripts at the moment. And so I thought instead of doing another montage, I could probably just talk you through a bit of my process. So when creating both fiction and non-fiction works, I find I'm doing a lot of research and I need to organize my thoughts and so I'm doing this across spreadsheets, presentation slides, and also written documents. It's a bit eclectic, so if anyone has any suggestions on how I could centralize this, uh, please tell me what software you're using or what your approaches are. But after I finish this, after I spend a bit of time working out here, this does actually bring my work week to a close. So thank you for keeping me company and I hope you enjoyed.